Good morning. It's a Monday. It's Monday. My wife had to wake me up this morning because I was tired. And she's like, you going to get up? Oh, yeah, it's Monday. I got to get the kids ready for school. All right. Uh, anyway, we had 0.17 inches of rain last night. 1,700. So not very much. It is wet on top. We cannot plant right now. That could happen later this afternoon, but we would need some sunshine that I don't think we are going to get, and there may or may not be more rain on the way. So, we will see, but we've got some stuff we need to clean up this morning. First thing is, <clears throat> drop some checks and bills in the mail so that we can pay people and get paid. And then we are going to get the corn planter out of the shop at the tractor. We're going to put it on the concrete out in front, and we're going to do some washing. Uh, we've got to get those tracks cleaned out, get all the mud out of there, and um, we need to wash that fertilizer spill off of the planter that happened last night. So, <sighs> that's the plan this morning. <sighs> Fortunately, this mud is all dry. So we can pick it out with the screwdriver a little bit easier. While we're chipping the mud, well, it's not mud anymore, it's dry dirt out of these uh, bogey wheels here and just trying to clean stuff up, anything I can get from up in the frame here and stuff. We'll probably wash it with water when we're done with this, but there is some packed in the back side of these, but I can't get to it without taking them off, and I'm not going to do that, so... Uh, oh well, Brock's been working on that side for me. Okay, well, we've picked all the dirt we can pick off by hand, heavy dirt. So I think I'm going to pull the tractor around. We'll see what more falls out just driving it a little bit, and then we can scrape the pavement off and clean it up, and then we'll get the power washer out because we need to do the planter anyway, so we might as well clean the tractor up while we've got it out. All right, let's hear it. Nope, they have us. Come on, us. come on. Nope. I'm not as mean as you, Nathan. <laughs> See, Brock knows how to be nice. Apparently, I don't. I'm just a, just a big meanie. Oh, well. I'm it, more approachable, too. I had somebody come up to me the other day at a restaurant, and he was nicer than heck, and telling me to tell Nathan to be nicer to me. See, if you're scary, people don't talk to you. That's right. <laughs> I guess I'm just too nice. Oh, well. Well, that was quite a little pile of dirt there. All right. I will start with this, but Brock's going to have to finish it because i got other things to do, and I don't have much else for him to do, so we're going to clean it up rough. We're not going to go crazy here, but I'm going to clean it up. Well, this actually cleans up pretty dang well, and it's not as hard as I thought it might be in these tracks. There are a lot of nooks and crannies, but everything's open. You can get in there pretty well. Uh, except for the inside of the bogey wheels, but there's nothing I can do about that really. So uh, I got some people coming to work on my house for a second, and so I got to run down there. Um, Brock's measuring some stuff on the field cultivator and cleaning up the floor and that kind of stuff, and he might power wash or we'll keep working on it when I get back. I haven't gotten to this side yet, but the other thing, my ceramic coating is freaking awesome. Like that water just runs right off of there. It's sweet. I'll show you when we get back. Okay, well I came back, finished up this track, and I worked on this side of the planter a little bit. That fertilizer is super, super corrosive. Look at our opener discs, just from overnight. Rusted up solid, so uh, that's why we need to wash it off. I probably should have done it last night, judging by that, but um, we need to get it unfolded. I kind of did some on this side, just where it sits, because I could get to it, but I'm going to let Brock work on the tracks on the other side of the tractor, and we'll finish getting that cleaned up, and uh, I've got to go organize some stuff on our... Um, fertilizer containment dike there and getting some of those shuttles where we need them okay so that tote is empty we uh we need to rinse it so i need to spray some water in there and then suck the water out Let's see if i can get it not too bad but we just need to rinse it out actually that's pretty good uh we'll just pump it into there and then we'll suck it into the planter when we're ready to go uh, and then that one over there needs to take this one's place. I need to look at my spreadsheet right there and see if we're going to use any of this anytime soon. I think the rest of it actually goes down to Berkey, all of the rest of it. So if that's the case, we're going to get it out of here 
and um, one of my, well, my the other one on the other side there is my zinc that it would be nice to have it a little closer and with a pump on it so yeah good deal tractor is pretty good for now I mean we're still using it we're not cleaning enough to put it away so um, we do need to get this planter though so I pulled ahead and we unfolded it most of the way and we're gonna just kind of go through and get you know all of this stuff off that that is from the fertilizer still all of that so we got to get that off of there okay I'm back to organizing and getting stuff put where it needs to be out here I'm trying to find a spot where you can see um, I was a little I am a little concerned about the weight on this platform so I'll show you in a minute what we're doing about that but it would appear we're good so he didn't fall yet. As I was placing that shuttle, it occurred to me that, hey, it's probably close to 11 o'clock. I gotta go get bracing today. It's a quarter after, so we're a little late. So that, uh, how we did that, we'll have to wait. Um, in other news, it's raining. Still not a lot. I'll have to look at the radar area, yeah, but um, we aren't planting today. I can assure you of that. We got him. All right, Brock's got our corn planter cleaned up, all of the fertilizer and stuff off of it. So we're gonna fold her up and pull her back in the shop here, I think. And uh, then we're gonna go down and treat some beans. I also had him grease the tracks, uh, the front, at least here, the steering and everything, because we power washed all the grease off of stuff and they've gotten water in it. So like these steering pins and up here and underneath and whatever's on the back, we just I just thought it'd be a good idea to put a little grease in them, so. It's so pretty sitting in the barn there. Um, anyway, that's done. I also got this stuff put back where I wanted it. Everything is good here. So you'll see that I um, I accidentally scooted our platform out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, those two chemical or two fertilizer totes there. That is our zinc and our boron. Not the black label zinc, different zinc, 10% zinc. But they are both very heavy. Um, higher they're heavier than water and so they're and they're full shuttles and i was just concerned about the weight on our platform here a little bit um seems to be okay we do have a you know pretty strong eye beams and stuff and there are nice beams for support there so uh, i set this one on a pallet and as i was pushing it in it slid the whole platform a little bit but it's all right is what it is uh and then the other one we just left it set on the concrete wall a little bit to take off fair bit of that weight as we use them up they get lighter less of a concern i guess but i don't think so the grating that we have in there between those beams that is uh, slats out of our old uh, hog barns down to berkey they are designed to hold up pigs not chemical shuttles that let's see what's 250 times 11 or 12 pounds per gallon 250 gallons that's how much those things weigh uh, 11.09 pounds per gallon times 250. I don't know what that is, but it's a lot. That thing is heavy. Almost 3,000 pounds in each one of those totes. So just make sure you're being a little careful. Well, we're going to get set up and treat some more beans. We're not going to be able to finish because I still don't have them all. I've still got some that are coming to me. Um, but we have 13 boxes that we can do, and that'll be basically everything that we can do uh, that's here. I've got one box more than that that's already treated and we're going to over treat it, add some extra stuff to it, to the base treatment that it came with it. Um, we're not going to do that one today, I don't think. Maybe we will, I don't know. But we have 13 other boxes that we can do. Uh, it's a couple different varieties, so we're going to switch back and forth a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, all right, well, we've got 13 boxes treated and that's pretty much it. I think I have three boxes coming tomorrow that I want to treat yet and we're pretty well done, so that is good. Bill got our tender trailer. We're gonna need that, so that's good. Okay, next project for the afternoon here. Wire and lights. So Dad and Brayson are moving the sprayer for us. Brock and I are up here pulling wire, pushing wire more accurately. So we've got 14 gauge wire there, and yes, I realize it's yellow and not black, but it's what we got. So we pushed it from the first box through and it actually came out the next one over there. So we're wiring this plug up 
then we'll move our scaffolding to the next one and uh, hopefully we can just keep doing it that way it's like an inside drone shot of the sprayer he seems quite bouncy yeah, he's good I guess I know that sprayer is getting older 12 13 years old now but it is one heck of a machine I just I just hold it Brock does all the work yep eventually the wires will come sticking out the next box that's what I'm doing I'm watching I'm watching I'm waiting so that I don't he doesn't push any more than he has to all right so you wouldn't know it because I didn't film it but I did push a bunch of wires um, we got wires over to that plug. We got to wire it up yet, but we've got to make our home run or switch run or whatever you want to call it back over to the switch. Problem is we've got a box over there that we need three more wires going down that conduit to the switch box. So we're pushing the wire through. They're kind of dangling there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There they are. And dad figured we needed 35 feet from that box to get to the switch. So we're going to try and pull 35 feet out. I know that my light hanging over there is 21 and a half feet above the floor. So measure and guess from there. My scissor lift is on the move here, um, but that side is done and we've got wires hanging out over here. We got children hanging out. So now the tricky one here where we've got to try and uh, shove wires down and across and across and yeah, we got lots going on on this one. Done, wired all the way across. All the way down, Dad got the switches done, so he's gonna try them. We'll see how he did. Breaker, and they're on. Excellent. We done with the scaffolding? Oh yeah. All right. All right, well, we'll have to come out here when it gets dark and see how bright the lights are. Right. I mean, they look good, but it's hard to tell right now because it's pretty bright outside. So um, that electrical project is mostly wrapped up. We're not done yet. We've got some wires hanging out the door there. That's for the overhead door opener when they uh, get that put in. And Dad's got a couple of lights he wants to put outside here facing out this way to light up the back of the farmyard here a little bit. So um, he's going to keep working on that. But, yeah, good deal. Okay. Grayson and I are heading home. We um, we had a good day. It was nice to slow down for a little bit here and get some stuff taken care of. Um, get that tractor and planter cleaned up some from getting stuck and blowing fertilizer all over everything. Um, you make this difficult, you know that? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh your shoe fell off. Anyway. Um, we got beans treated. We're about done treating beans. So we've got a couple of trucks coming tomorrow. That is a good thing. Maybe we can get the rest of those done. And uh, hopefully we'll make a couple of seed deliveries tomorrow. That is also my plan. I imagine Brayson will be with us again in the afternoon, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we've got a little bit of stuff I want to do to the planter yet. We need to change those uh, uh, balls uh, for our flow gauges there. So that's something we can do and uh, just make a couple of tweaks on things. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you again in the morning. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.